Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I will explain a position widget in detail along with all its properties and features. At the end, I will create this UI using the positional widget. So without wasting time, let's get started. As the name suggests, positional widget allows us to place a widget at desired position inside the stack. By the way, I haven't talked about stack widget so far in my videos and it's not a video for stack. That's why I'm not going to talk more about the stack here. In the next video, I will talk about the stack means I will create a separate video for stack. Position widget must be descendant that is direct child of the stack widget. Moreover, we cannot use a position widget other than the stack widget. Let's look at the properties of position widget. We have the property called child and it is a required property that requires a widget that has to be positioned inside the stack. Then we have left, right and width which basically deals with the horizontal axis and any two of them can be used at a time. Means we cannot use all these three properties at once. In the same way we have the properties called top, bottom and height which deals with the vertical axis and again any two of them can be used. Let's see all these properties practically. Now you can see here we have a scaffold and at the center of the scaffold I have placed a stack widget and a stack has basically a property called children that requires multiple widgets to be displayed and as the first child of the stack we have a container with a width and height of 300 pixel and having the color blue. Inside this I have placed a position widget and that contains a container with a width and height of 100 pixel having the color called orange and you can see by default this is aligned on this position at the top left corner of the stack. Now inside this position widget let me use a property called left and when I use a value of left as 50 pixel so let me explain what is the meaning of this left 50. So when we use left 50 so this 50 actually indicates it is a distance of the child's left edge from the left of the stack and in the same way if I change this left to say right so when I use right 50 so here right 50 indicates it is the 50 pixel distance from a right edge of the child to the right of the stack and let's say if I use top here and let me use value of say top as 20 so here top 20 indicates the distance of this top of the uh, child from the top of the stack is basically 20 pixel let me use bottom now so let's say bottom and let me use value of bottom say again 50 pixel so here when we say bottom 50 means it indicates the 50 pixel distance from the bottom edge of the child from the bottom of the stack Moreover, we can use the combination, for example, along with this bottom, I can use left, let's say the value of left is 20. So in this case, the left 20 indicates there is a gap, that is the, there is a spacing of the 20 pixels from the left side and from the bottom side, there will be a gap or there will be spacing of 50 pixels. We can use width and height property of positional widget to explicitly control the size of child. For example, let's say if I use value of width is 200 pixel and the value of height is again 200 pixel you can observe now basically my container that is my child is having the width and height of 100 pixel but i can control uh, using the position widget and when i say here you can observe now the child has taken the width and height which i have specified using the position widget it means the width and height property of positional widget has a high priority over the size of child the top and bottom property have more priority than the height of child so let me explain here for example let's say if i use the value of top say 20 pixel and the value of the bottom as a 10 pixel you can observe here as i'm using the top and bottom you can see here the height of child has increased means it is not using the 100 pixel height rather it is following uh, the top and bottom so that's why i'm saying the top and bottom has a more priority than the height of child moreover uh, if you think about the left and right you have the same case here means uh, the left and right property has more priority than the width of child so let me use here say left let's say use the value of left is 50 pixel and let you say right say 20 pixel we can observe now immediately the width of this child has got changed and this is because of due to this left and right values properties the value of top bottom left and right can be negative so that we can place a child outside the stack for example let's say if i use a value of left say minus 50 pixel and let me use a value of top say minus 20 and when i save you you can observe now this particular child that is this particular container is placed out of the stack 
but as in case of stack it is getting clipped so to make it visible we have to use property called clip dfa and let me use value for that one say clip dot none so that there won't be any clipping so you can see here now this particular child at this particular box is visible and it is placed out of the stack when all the three values of particular axis are null then the stack dot alignment property is used to position a child it means when we don't use the value say left or right on width then in this case the horizontal axis alignment is managed by the alignment property of stack and in the same way when we don't use any of the property from top bottom and height so in this case the vertical axis alignment of the child is managed by the alignment of the stack itself let me explain here for example let's say if i use value of top is 50 pixel so what is happening here with respect to vertical alignment i have specified the top that's why vertically it has got the gap of 50 pixel but i haven't used property that is uh, managing with respect to the horizontal axis and that's why it is managed by the alignment property for example let's say if i use alignment and if i use pass here say alignment dot let's say bottom right so you can observe now uh, the uh, box is now aligned at the right side okay observable thing here is it is still having the gap of 50 pixel on the top side but with respect to the horizontal axis this particular alignment is managed by the bottom right basically it's not aligned with the bottom because we're using the top value 50 but it is now aligned at the right edge of the stack when all the six values left right top bottom width or height are null then in this case it's not at all a positional widget it is the non-positional widget and alignment of such a widget is completely managed by the alignment property of the stack itself now let me explain how we can create this beautiful and modern looking ui using the positional widget we have a stack that contains first child as image.asset where i'm using image called food.jpg from my images folder configured inside the assets of my project i'm using property called box.cover so that it should get the entire width available in my device the second child we have a container with a width and height of 100 pixel for having the uh, decoration i have used here box decoration and to make it circular i use property called box shape dot circle for this shape property for showing the image i use say decoration image and as an image i'm using a set image and here i'm using the image called shape dot jpg from my images folder and for showing the border here i'm using border dot all with the color of white 54 and the width of 2 pixel here now for showing this shape image at the bottom center of this food image so what you have to do first of all we have to wrap it inside the position widget so let's use your position after that we have to use property called bottom and i will use here say minus 50 pixel so that half portion of the image will now go out of the stack here and in order to make it uh, visible we have to use property called clip behavior let's use here say clip dot none so that it will be visible now to place it at the center with respect to horizontal axis we have to use a property called either left or say right so here i will use property left and here we have to place that one inside the center and from that center we have to minus 50 pixel so for that reason i will use here say media query so i will use here media query dot off dot context dot size and let's use say width and from this width i have we have to just uh, make it half of the width and just uh, we have to minus the 50 pixel here because we have the image of uh, 100 width and 100 height here so when i save here you can see we are good to go means we got this particular nice ui that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos